Welcome back to Legend of Keepers, everybody. Here we are, back to playing with the Enchantress, and we've been given charge of our own temple, I believe. Uh, so we get to play around in there. It looks like with a bunch of demons, a couple of elementals, some undead. Interesting little uh, trap here. But we have some talents. Let's uh, let's use those up. Let's see here. Some land lightning has a chance to apply burn. It's never bad. Uh, and then, ooh, increase the damage they'll buy. That sounds great. Let's do that. Been using that spell quite a bit, so I think it makes sense. Um, and as always, we'll customize this to keep the hero strength in the middle and put everything up to high. And uh, see how that goes for us. Following the path of destiny. Right, okay, we can start with a promotion right away. Um, maybe should have taken a closer look at our creatures before uh, deciding. Last time I believe we went with this, which is pretty nice. You can deal big chunks of damage to the front or the back. Um, but it can only do damage. That's the, the one downside, I guess. This is the Smeiwi damage with some penalties. Uh, this is a little bit weird. I'm not really sure what, when you'd use that. Uh, the fireflies are pretty cool. Deal 4% of maximum health as fire damage for each penalty applied to the target. So that could potentially be a lot. We do apply quite a few penalties, generally speaking. And this one does the bounce, which is kind of cool. Right, the 48 damage plus shuffle, which is fine. The shuffle's not necessarily that relevant to us, but it can be interesting. And then the poison corpses... AoE nature damage and applies poison body, which, eh, the poison body part, not really that relevant. So I can see, uh, I can see an argument for all of it, but, you know, we went with this last time, let's make mix it up, uh, although I think maybe we picked this the time before, I remember this, uh, fire and ice spell. So I don't know, maybe we try, uh, try this one, go, go for some sort of penalty type build. I'm trying to... If you remember, I, I don't think what we had there really worked very well with that, so. Um, yeah, let's just stick with this one. Have lots of big damage for me. Alright, 350 gold. Merchant trainer, engineer twice. Into collectors, okay. So let's see. Morale, morale. Okay. Fire nature, and then they uh, bounce around if the armor is positive. Ah, this guy. Okay, so we may want some... Uh, some stack type stuff. Okay, we got another morale guy here. Although he also just deals good damage. This guy deals incredibly good fire damage. And then some physical. Okay. Uh, well, it makes sense to visit the merchant first and then train up our units afterwards if we have any cash left. Let's see what we have. Poison cloud I like, generally speaking. As far as traps, we have this thing which deals AoE, ice, and air. Apply magical weakness. Kind of cool. And then just elemental weakness. So yeah, we could definitely use a nice solid trap. Like the poison cloud is expensive. We're not going to have any money for the uh, trainer if we do this. But I think it's worth it. And let's see. Fire damage. Gain thorns if they're burning. Apply thorns to all monsters. Gain thorns equal to... Wait, gain number of thorn stacks equal to total of thorn stacks on other monsters. The group that are benefiting from... Okay, it's not really that good. But it is a tough monster, which I like. The time watcher... Uh, deals 10% of the target's current morale if they're slower. Apply haste when it's defeated. Not really a huge fan of the Time Watcher. Or the Fire Impaler, for that matter. Let's, let's roll again, see what we can find. Okay, this guy is a better morale damage. Is, is, do we actually have one of those already? We do. Okay. But I don't mind having a second one. And the Skeleton Bull can also do AoE morale stuff, but it can also just hit for hard fire damage. All right. Let's um, let's buy these two and we'll, uh, go from there. Okay, we just literally can't afford anything, so whatever. Oh, well, that lied to us. We can buy a Psycho Imps, which honestly isn't that terrible of an idea. They're not strong, but they do two different things, which is actually relevant. Alright, spend all our cash. Uh, that's a lot of merchants right in the row. Let's go to the event. I think. Could spend some life on these guys, but 
I think I'll just go to the event here. Okay, plus 10 to all Master's Resistances, sacrificing this level 1 Flame Eater. My resistances are currently... Okay. He's not that strong since he's only level 1. Like, we just bought a couple level 2s. I actually think this is okay. Let's sacrifice him. Or shall I say, sacrifice him. Alright, second event. Team building. No, that's... Not helpful at the moment, but cool. Let's see what we have. Uh, one, two, three difficulty. All right, so we'll just go for the biggest payout here. Nothing too fancy. Um, so both these guys could do blah, 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 do good morale damage. This guy does solid morale. This guy does AOE morale. And this guy can do AOE morale as well. So we effectively have one, two, three, four, five units that can do morale damage. So if we decide to go for some sort of morale thing, we should split them up, I think. Uh, it sort of makes sense to have him in the front since he does AOE. As well as these guys. Uh, this guy, I guess, also does AOE morale damage. He can also do regular old fire damage. Maybe I try this. So then I have one, two, three, and then one... Two. Wait. There needs to be a second morale guy over here, right? I guess these guys. One, two. I mean, let's start there and see, see where we end up. Um, get a little weak on ice here, but that's looks like it's just gonna be a thing. Uh, regular armor. One good one. Nature, we have one good one. Air, we have an okay one. So there's nothing horrible in terms of resistance here, but it's not great. These guys, really solid fire. Pretty decent ice, good armor. Nature is solid, air is solid. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll try it like this. We'll see how it goes. Alright, and yeah, here we go. We're starting with our fancy spell, okay. Um, so nature of the front is quite good, actually. Applies bounty, uh, ice and tiredness to the back, no. Or 75 damage of their worst resistance type. Can that be physical? No, because physical is not resistance, it's armor, okay. So we'll probably just go for the front hit here. Unless we want to try to go for morale stuff, but yeah, we can't do morale with this. Spell loadout, I guess. Okay. Um, you heal health once. You dodge the first trap. And you do AoE damage, okay. And you... Don't really do anything highly relevant. Okay. So we're going to hit air and fire in the front. And then AoE ice. Air and fire. So you're actually quite good at both of those. You're solid at both of those. We have the same HP, so I guess we'll use her. Oh yeah, this is actually, yeah, she's great here, actually. Um, then AoE Ice, okay, so that's going to hurt there quite a bit. So, let's see, how's their air resist? Their air resist is pretty high. But... Might have to use him anyway. What does this guy do? Nature and AoE. Fire to the front. Applies Flame Spirit to the monsters in front. Uh, applies Shell 2 to the monsters, the group at the front, and Haste 1 to the back. Oh, that's kind of sweet. How's your fire resist? Negative? Okay. So we'll definitely use the bull. And then I just have to decide between these two. Let's see. How's your fire resist? Oh, your fire resist is insane. So I guess it's going to have to be this guy. Alright. We'll try it like this. Seems okay to me. Disasters. We have Morale and Slowed, Nature Damage, AoE, Applies Nature Weakness. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. We'll probably do that one. Or Physical and Poison. Yeah, so we'll go for the Poison Cloud now. They're going to have Nature Resist, or Weakness, rather. One of them dodges it, but that's okay. Hit him with some kind of spell, and then still Fire and Air to the front, meaning this guy... Not really sure what's going to be alive at this point and what isn't, but 
you do. Um, maybe we physicals fine-ish. So it also applies the bleed. Front physical's pretty bad, and he has bad ice resist, so... Uh, not that AoE air is amazing, either, but... I think we're gonna try it like so. And final trap. Um, oh, I forgot I could've done this maybe here, but whatever, we'll go with Prism here at the end. <laughs> Hope we don't need to use it. Go for this. Not sure how relevant the bounty is going to be, but it's fine. Oh, jerk. Uh, oh, this guy, okay, sure. Might as well do that. stronger actually it supplies poison which is pretty cool um, so I'll probably go with that one and then yeah this is really good Burn now, thanks to the bull. This bull's actually really good. Has a decent amount of health as well. Now, let's see. Let's play slow. It's not really that relevant. I think we'll just keep going to Flame Breath. Seems okay. Additional element of weakness here. Alright. Not too bad, all in all. Uh, one of these. This front guy's dead now. So lightning would certainly kill. Seeds are pointless. Um Yeah, let's just kill one. Let my monsters clean up this guy. Let's see, he's a hundred health, hundred and thirty-eight morale. His fire is pretty bad. Alright, we'll just go for damage. Not an incredible setup for this, but uh, this guy's gonna do a good job, so whatever. Alright, nice and easy. What do we got? Major Red. Who I actually like quite a bit. The dodge is strong, the AoE morale can be useful, and then that physical attack's actually quite good. Uh, the ghost is also pretty good. Guaranteed critical is really sweet. And then we got this guy. Don't have my other ice dudes at the moment, so I don't know about the ice impaler. I think I'll go for her. All right. Merchant, engineer, or event. So this guy's going to want to sit out, and she's going to want to sit out. So we're down to just seven, so we probably hit another merchant here. Look for a few more monsters. Let's see the ghost and the, the gargoyle. Can I buy them both? I cannot. I think I'll go for the gargoyle then. Uh, I guess we might as well hit the therapist so I can afford the trainer. Hit the event as well. Thirst for revenge. And I'm all, I don't think so. I'll just go for some tears. And another event. 
Understaffing. He's a guinea pig that has traps. I level two dark magus, huh? No, I'm also a little too understaffed, I think. The money would be nice and all, but it's all right. Resting room with an artifact. Yep. Okay, we'll be going for that. So you still take a break. You now don't have to, which is cool. Okay. I do want this guy in the front, I think. Who else did AoE morale stuff? You, I guess, do. Uh, you can... Oh, she does as well, actually. Pretty high as well. Um... Let's see. You guys do targeted morale damage. You do AoE morale as well. Yeah, we don't do a lot of targeted morale damage, huh? Let's see how this checks out. Um, fire. Good. Ice. Solid. Physical. Pretty not great. Do we have better... Okay, so I want either the bull or this guy in the front room, maybe. Okay, let's try that. Uh, okay, and then nature is also covered by him, and air is pretty decent. Okay, here we got really good fire coverage. Ice is okay, but not great. Who has good ice? Not that many people. This guy. It's also good air. Hmm. How's their air? Pretty decent. Okay, let's see. Physical we got. Nature is okay. And then air is medium. I'm gonna move this guy back. Covers the ice and air pretty nicely. Then I might actually swap the rooms. Sure. This sounds like a thing I could try to do. Let's do it. Probably not going to go for morale victories anyway. Um, our spells don't support it, and here in particular they have a morale resting room, so we really don't want to mess with that. Okay, what do we got? Take less damage from traps. Okay, remove penalties, ice damage, air damage, tiredness, gives morale back one, supplies broken armor. Oh, you're pretty mean. Uh, and this is the bard type situation here. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Um, magical weakness three makes a lot of sense. So we're about to straight going straight into a spell situation here. So I think we'll start there. Hit them with some kind of spell, and then right before the monster, let's see how's your nature. Your nature is pretty good, so I might just go with the prism here. Make my attacks better. There's no shuffling or anything. This guy's just, just going to do a bunch of dodges. So in terms of tanking, we need ice in the front, air in the back, and yeah, there's AoE. Okay, so ice in the front. Who's got my ice armor? Uh, I guess you're the one I brought in for that, so congratulations. Uh, how's air damage? Not the worst, so that's fine. And then air in the back. Oh, is he also my air guy? I guess he is. Um, you're my alternative ice guy. You don't have a ton of health. My alternative air guy is you. You have at least an okay amount of health. Fire to the back is not that good. But you with AoE physical? Not that strong either, honestly. Pretty rough. Um... You know, we'll try this, and then let's see. Fire isn't particularly strong. Well, the AoE fire is okay. Um, fire to the front is actually pretty good. AoE nature is whatever, and then AoE physical is not that good. Yeah, let's put the bull in here. All right. Don't think it's going to be amazing, but what can you do? All right, final room. Here's my ice guy. You're my ice guy somehow. Okay. Congrats, I guess. Uh, and then air guy, which is 
you somehow. Monsters behind take less damage, okay. So I could put him in the front. Or in the middle, rather. Yeah, this looks okay. Alright, this one looks rough. I'm waiting for you. But our spells tend to be pretty good, so we'll see. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for that one. Practically kill him. Oh, hey, and applied burn, so... The double dodge is pretty obnoxious. I'll say that. I think I do some AoEing to try and get rid of it. Um, well, I guess I have to do another AoE. Somehow, that's good. Pull's not very quick. Uh, definitely do this. Let's see here. Yeah, this guy's. She has negative air resist still, but I'm gonna go for the AoE, I think. Get a burn on all of them. It's pretty cool. And then, yeah, fireball the back. Alright, just solid damage there. Down we go. But made really good progress off the first bunch of stuff there. So, not too bad. Let's see what we can do here. 75, 100 ice damage. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not very good. So, I guess we'll just go for this one. Bunch of tiredness as well. Pretty cool. your physical 15%. It's probably still the way to go. job skeleton crew here. So we got Transmutation Circle. Monsters placed at the front deal 2% additional damage per missing life percent. Okay, so if they're like pretty tough then the extra damage. The Witch Glove has had some issues for me. Um, it's really good when you can get it going, but you can't always get it going. Maman Bridget's Bone. Monsters placed in a group containing only skeletons receive 15 and 30. We have a decent amount of skeletons. This is not impossible. 15 dollar resistances and 30 armor is a lot. It does have to be all skeletons, though. I'm going to try it. The other stuff is just not that insane. It's pretty good, but... Let's see, what's my skeleton count? 1, 2... 3, 4... Okay, so I'll have to make sure they're in the same room and, you know, try to buy more skeletons when I get the chance, but it's not bad. Alright, well, let's do the workout. Let's see, I can afford exactly one of these. Uh, I think my physical armor is terrible, so I should probably do that. Call it a day. Go to the event. Ooh, budget increase, like that. 
Okay, level two possessed armor is okay. What's this trap? The poison dart? Or gold. There wasn't a merchant coming up, so I'm a little tempted by the gold. This trap's fine. It's not that good. I think I'm gonna hit the therapist here. See if I can get some of these guys to stay in the fight a little longer. Then we'll hit the merchant. I'm not gonna extend anything. Basically looking for skeletons here if I can. Pandora's box, tax all penalties increased by two now. Yeah, let's look for skeletons. Mm, the wind elemental's interesting. Um, we don't have a ton of sources of air damage yet or good air resist, so. I'm gonna pick him up. Try one more renew and hope I can do something. Nope. Okay. Well, then never mind. Don't think I want the obsessed armor. It's just not that good. All right. So we're off to fight a champion. That's removal of conditions. Okay. Bring this guy back. Take this guy out. And try to stack all my skeletons in one place, I think. Ideally go with some kind of crew that's all skeletons. So let's see, what are we, because I'm going to give them one extra thing, so let's, let's figure out what they're missing. They're okay on fire. They're okay on ice, they could maybe use an ice resistance. Uh, armor, they're actually great on nature. Okay, nature and air aren't great and then ice isn't great so this guy is not the way to go this guy really covers nature and air nicely uh, not ice so ice will end up kind of weak yeah ice is maybe the biggest problem but we just don't have good ice coverage these have the highest ice resist but they're kind of low health is the problem Um, as far as nature and air, yeah, it's not like this site has, yeah, alright, so we'll do this. Let's see here, fire, we're definitely good on ice, we're not great on still. Seems ice is just a weakness I have, something to maybe look out for. Physical armor, oh god. Oh, we're terrible on physical armor here. That's tough, but I think we'll just have to deal with it. There's not too many physical attackers, and nature and air is good. Yeah, I think I'll try it like this, and I think in this order as well. All right. Let's go fight us a champion. Meeting with regular magic, okay. So we can add elemental weakness, or we could do the big attack in the back. The big attack in the back is not looking too great here. I'll just trap. Speed increase and rage. That's a barbarian. Lovely. Physical. Life above. Damage dealt increase. Life under. Damage taken reduced. Okay. This might actually be a morale situation. They have way lower morale than life. So... Okay, uh, what do we got? We have a bunch of physical damage to the front and then fire to the back. Okay, so I should be able to do the skeleton guys here. This guy has good fire resist. Can deal fire to the back, which isn't particularly helpful, but he can do the morale thing. Um, this guy has really high physical, so that's great. And then... I mean, he has to do physical at the front, which is horrible, but he'll be a really good tank, so that's fine. And then I can do AoE Morale with you, I guess, is probably better. Yes, yeah, so now everybody has a bunch of extra bonuses. That's cool. So I should at least last a while. Which I like. Okay. Just double checking there's no shuffles or anything going on. Nope. 
Uh, okay, they're going immediately into a sacred altar. So neither of these will really do anything. I guess we'll go with a poison cloud. Deal some damage. And then a prism, because the catalyst doesn't really do anything. Not sure the prism does either, but whatever. Okay, uh, remember how I said I didn't have good physical resist? That's going to be a problem here. Can we do any, uh, we cannot do any morale damage with her. That's bad. Wind. Okay. I, mean, I kind of wanted this guy in here. Let's see. You have my best fire by, like, a mile. Although she's still pretty good, and you also are my best physical. I think it's going to be this, and then the level 2 guy here. This is awkward. I don't love it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, don't want seeds. This just doesn't hit that hard. Mental weakness helpful? Not especially. Nature. I mean, their nature resistance are at least bad, but I think I just do this. Pretty weak spell there, unfortunately. Wow, really? That much damage? Damn. Anyway, um. I guess I could try to kill this guy instead of doing this. Tough call. I think I have to stick to the plan. Why do what I wanted? I feel like this room is be even worse. Lightning strike, not really helpful. Uh, yeah, this makes the most sense, I think. Get that poison going. Try to kill this unit in the back. God, he's mean. I, think I might be dead here because I tried to go for a morale thing that's just not going to work. It just hits like an absolute truck. Oh my god. Okay, I can kill him. I guess that's something. I suppose that's probably what I have to do, is just kill the guy in the back. Let's see, what am I doing? 
Ice in nature of the front. Is that any good? Okay, that's really good, actually. Um, that part doesn't matter. Or nature of the back. Regenerate some health. It's also pretty good. I guess if I have a way to hit the back... Two hundred health though. This guy has two ninety nine. Twenty. Yeah, this is just too good of value, I guess. Oh, did you lose your friends? Let's see here. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we'll start here. <sighs> Kill him. <laughs> okay, well that went better than expected at the end, but I learned my lesson about trying to do morale things. Ooh, I like this guy a lot. Good flexibility. Strong abilities. Two birds sounds good as well. Mouth shut I'm not as impressed by. Alright, let's go skeleton lord. Lost a lot of morale there, that's okay. So let's see, you're gonna go on a break, you're gonna go on a break, you're gonna go break you're gonna come back you're gonna go on a break you're gonna go on a break that's a lot of people on break probably hit the merchant at least one of them i think this one and then maybe hit the collectors seems fine really want to find more skeletons obviously uh i do like this guy Let's look okay you're a skeleton that's good enough That's all I can afford. Check out the collectors. Uh, yep, we'll pay them in hero blood. Alright, ritual. Receive essence of knowledge from the mystic tree to amplify arcane spells or learn new ones. Sure, let's see what that's all about. 30 what? You stand before the mystic tree and receive essences of knowledge for the ritual. The remaining essences of knowledge can be used during your next visit in addition to the ones that will be granted again. This looks complicated. So let's see. Okay, so I can amplify this. Oh, I see. I can learn these new ones. So that'll let me do that in place or in addition to my other spells, I guess, probably. 13 ricochet, random penalties. I do think this one's pretty cool. Let's I mean, let's learn that one just to have the option. And then maybe buff this one and this one. No, I can't buff that one now. Sure. I don't know. I made my stuff better. It's got to be worth something. Okay, that's a healing resting room, which is pretty tough. We're still going to try it, I think. We need the gold. I'm in okay enough shape. Oh, this guy was a skeleton. Hey, how about that? So now I have... Okay, four skeletons again. Cool. Let's see what they're missing. Let's see. Fire... Okay, this guy has good fire and ice. The physical armor is great. And this guy has good nature in there. So my skeletons are actually kind of covered, which is awesome. Um, so what are they missing in terms of, like, damage types, right? Because they have air, ice, fire, nature, air, physical. They got almost everything here. And realistically, I'm not going to put a non-skeleton with this. I should just do this, right? I'm not going to put a non-skeleton with these guys. That would be silly. Um, let's see here. Just make sure I'm not, like, horrifically... Okay, I have pretty poor fire resist here. Good ice. Okay armor. Really good nature and air. Um, so I could use somebody that can do fire here, like this guy. But I think I'll just let it... Let it be. 
need more traps too. All right, let's go hit these veterans. Okay, we're going straight into a mean spell, so probably want to do the catalyst here. My magical weakness, just take a quick look. Reduce morale losses, air and vulnerable, replace the thing. Okay, okay. Gives morale back, gives morale back. Okay, well, let's go for a catalyst. Hit him with some kind of spell. Uh, and then we're walking into another spell. Let's see. How's their nature resist? Not great, actually. Maybe I just go for the poison cloud because. My lightning is going to be kind of poor. It's got 50 air resist. It's pretty high. Yeah, let's just hit him with the cloud here. Gotta figure out what to do there. And here we go. And this is health, right? Yeah. All right. Air and ice to the front. And then air to the back. Okay. But you're good at air and ice. And then when you're in the front, you ricochet attacks. Perfect. Okay, and yeah, you can do, okay, perfect, um, and this guy does air to the back, anybody good at air, you're decent at air, you don't have a ton of health, but you're still my dude, I think, and then you'll do an AoE attack, that's fine, and then middle, let's see, physical at the front's not amazing, uh, versus AoE Nature or Fire to the Front. Yeah, those are both actually respectable. Okay, we'll try that. And then they're gonna get some health back. Unfortunate. And then we go here. Okay, well, you have Insane Air Resist. I like that. Um, which, how's your ice? Negative 50. It's not ideal. Does anybody have a slightly better balance? You do, okay. So you're probably in the front. You can only deal air to the front or AoE air. Hmm, that's problematic that he can't really do anything useful. This guy also just does air damage only, which is also not ideal. But he's gonna just last so long that I think I have to do it anyway. This guy does nature, which is pretty good across the board, so I'd probably go with him over the AoE physical. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. A bunch of damage. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. And nothing. Okay, so nature negative thirty-five. Or ice negative thirty-five. Sure, let's hit that guy. Tiredness is pretty good too, so. Pretty obscene. And then we'll go with the brambles, I suppose. sucks here. Uh, trample or Wrath. Probably Wrath here. These guys should just die to the toxins, hopefully. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he still should. Right, and this is gonna happen anyway. Um, so 65 and 10. Is... Oh, this also applies a penalty, okay. This is ice, is 35, 6, oh. Yeah, I think this is better. Get random penalties on there. And 
unfortunately probably dead here. Um, four. Yeah, let's see. This, this just does absolutely nothing, so. More poison, I guess. If I can take her down, then this healing is not doing a whole lot. Uh -um. Don't think it matters. Let's get the bounty on there, why not? Heal. Let's see here. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Vulnerable is a big deal. That went pretty well. Uh, probably taking the skeleton dog because the skeleton. Wouldn't mind this guy, but I think given the artifact we have, we gotta continue picking up skeletons. Trainer workout event. Not a great workout situation. Why don't just go event and then course instead of trainer? I think I like that a little bit better. You're gonna need a break, you're gonna need a break. But the rest of you get to come back in, which is cool. So I actually have a fairly full roster here. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, giant worm. Eat it to gain 19 life. That's not great. I think I'll just sell it. You don't need the morale all that much. Of the course. Let's see who gets to take it. Okay, well, you're only level one, but I guess I'll get you to level three. Why not? And then that means he's out for a while. We still have plenty, though, so I think I can do a business trip as well. What is this thing? Okay, it's not bad. This is alright, but not great. And this is pretty good, but he's worth he's worth having around since he has a really good resistances and departments that were kind of lacking. But I don't really also want to send my skeletons away, so I guess I'll do this. Eight weeks isn't that long either. Maybe now I can try to work out. I have a little bit more blood. Sure. Weights, yoga, self pleasure. Can I afford both of these? I cannot. Hmm. Power is pretty good, but armor is kind of a big deal. I think I have to go for that. Get myself to a reasonable number. Uh, let's see. Artifact or master bonus on a lot of life. So the artifact is better than the master bonus, but that gold's pretty good. So we'll still go for the final one there. Um, yeah, you guys need to stay out. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five skeletons. Okay, so I can't have two rooms with skeletons, in which case I may as well just keep them all together. Uh, who do we lose? We lost the bull and this guy. This guy was covering nature and air, but again, we're... I'm just not going to have a room. I'm just not going to set up a room that isn't all skeletons, because it's just too strong. So, keep them in room one, keep these guys in room two. Done and done, I think. Nothing too complicated about it. All right, let's go. Let's 
starting off with our miscellaneous spell here. What do you got for me? Nature, poison, damage dealt. Okay, yep. Physical, gross, enraged, gross, can be poisoned. Okay, we do have a shuffler this time. So that's going to be pretty nasty. What are we doing? 75, 125 is your ice resist. Pretty good. Is your nature. Probably insane. Yep. So we're probably doing that one. Which is going to be okay, but not great. Alright, so we got a couple of nature things and a physical thing. Okay, you're the only one with good nature. Physical at the front's actually solid, so I'm going to put him in the back. Hope he gets shuffled to the front. Um, let's see. My next best nature resist is zero, right? So, And there's also physical as well. Oy. So the problem is these guys have terrible physical resist. She at least has dodge, I guess. Let's put her over there. And then... Let's fire to the back. Fire to the back's actually pretty good. Physical to the front's also pretty good. Oh, and this some cool stuff. Let's try a dog here. We'll see how that goes. Alright, we got a trap followed by spells. Probably go for the magical one. Hit them with something. And then this is pretty awful, so let's just go for the prism. Simple selections here. Alright, and then who's got... You have excellent nature, I'm sure. And actually decent physical as well. So we'll grab you in the front. You're not going to hit very hard, but it's all right. Um, does anybody else have not terrible nature resist? Negative on that one. So who deals the best damage in that case? AoE physical It's actually okay. AoE air is also not bad, but the damage on this guy's kind of low to begin with. Uh, this won't bounce. It's not very good. Fire to the back was good, right? Although if this guy dies, then it stops being good because this guy's fire is insane. Seventy and eighty health. I think I might just go for these two. Air and physical are both respectable here. All right. I'm waiting for you. So I believe this is the best option. This does apply a lot of tiredness. There's only a little less damage. I think it's actually worth it. Kind of a big deal. Okay. Not exactly the, uh, the arrangement I wanted, but still not the worst. Uh, so, do this. And then, yeah, this is quite powerful. She'll take another hit. That's nice. Okay, nice, nice. Eighty percent physical armor is pretty great. Getting to kill one's pretty good here. I'll probably just 
just fry the back here. Yep. Goodbye forever. This guy's actually kind of scary even by himself. Well, what can you do? This is morale. Is morale really low? Maybe I can try to target morale here. Which sounds fine. Will I last long enough? I don't know. But... Also applies tiredness. It's kind of helpful. This guy might last a couple of hits. We'll see. Uh, yeah, let's just keep stacking the tiredness. Unfortunately. So I don't know if this is going to happen, but... Down 78. Oh, negative 50, huh? So this is not living through a hit. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I actually lived because of all the tiredness. That's really good. Okay, so we should be able to get him here. Cool. Nice job, Ghost and Imps. Life absorption. Well, that's a small damage increase. Flamboyant Lightning, always love that one. Ten more armor. Not bad, actually. Puts us into the positives. But I think the lightning is better. And I don't know. It's kind of a big deal. I think I'm actually going to go for the armor. Lightning just kills stuff half the time anyway. Alright. Lost a bunch of morale, of course. 400 gold is pretty nice. Um, let's see. I don't hate the engineer. We only have a few traps. It'd be nice to level them up. Do I care about the trainer right now? I actually don't think I do. And I don't think I need the merchant either. We're in pretty good shape. These guys are going to come back soon as well. So I think I just hit the engineer. Let's see what they got for me. 200, 200, 225. Okay, so I can afford both of these if I want. It's a pretty minor increase for 200 gold. This is more of an investment in the future type situation where upgrading it again might do something. This is actually a bit better, I think. This is almost nothing. These are poor upgrades. I'm going to go with this one. And I think just skip this one. I don't think it's worth the money. Um... Of the collectors. Get some more cash. Therapist work out of vent. Do I want a therapist? Yeah, actually not a bad spot for one. I'm not gonna pay him, but plus one to everybody's good. And black market. You can sell stuff that is no longer useful to you. I, mean, I could see a few I could get rid of, but I I don't think I need to, so let's just deal with the event. What is this? I'm wondering Troubadour offers to sing in exchange for a modest sum. Okay, well, sure, I'll take one more all for free. And then... I actually wouldn't hate a trap. Is that better than a rare, though? Probably not. And they get a health there, so maybe the champion's not even harder, necessarily. Alright, um... So that means these guys don't really need to be here anymore, so maybe I at least bring one of them back. We'll see. 
Do I have enough skeletons now for two skeleton rooms? Probably, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I guess that's just all of them. So I could set it up so I have two skeleton rooms with the option of going non-skeleton. Or I could just keep all the skeletons in one place and go a skeleton room and a non-skeleton room. That might be better. Just so I have that flexibility on which skeletons end up being the best. And this can hopefully handle itself. Do I need this guy? Let's see. He has good nature. He has really decent armor as well, which is actually relevant. We don't have great armor at the moment. As far as nature, we're actually also pretty bad. So yeah, I'm going to want him in here instead of somebody. Um, what's the difference between these? He just gets more resistances. It's not really a great level up. Um, she has awesome fire, which we already have, but you can only use more. I think I'll sit this ghost out and do that. Alright, let's see how that goes for us. Champion, let's go. I uh, really like to start with this room. I, the uh, Firefly thing was a pretty terrible investment as a result. Uh, okay, that was the Samurai, lovely, okay. Dodge and speed, and then ice damage, removes penalties, give bonuses if it's not benefiting from bonuses. Okay, sure. So, as far as this goes, ice to the back is actually quite good. Nature of the front is medium, so I'll probably go ice to the back, try to kill this guy ASAP. How's your nature resistances? Pretty good, so we'll probably just go prism here. I guess so. Alright. Let's see. Ice to the front, air to the front, physical AoE. I believe, yeah, this guy's good at both, so. Um, yeah, he's pretty much gotta be him. Then, just people with not horrific physical armor, which basically just excludes these ones, which is fine. But I would like something that can target the back, so I can try to finish this guy off. Let's see here. Air to the front. No. AoE. No, you're not really very good. Fire to the front. Not bad. AoE nature. Not great. Physical to the front. Actually quite good. Applies enhanced resistance to the front and can keep critical to the back. Okay, so I like you a lot. Then you could do fire damage. Oh, and you apply shell and haste. That's pretty good as well. Fire to the back off this guy. I think I go for the animal squad here. Let's see how that goes. Makes this guy really tough, which I like. Okay. Um... I mean, it's magical weakness isn't going to do anything, right? So might as well do this, even if it's not great. And then, again, so this guy is my ice and air in this room, I believe. Yeah. Not super healthy, unfortunately, but it's okay. Alright, now as far as damage, nature is not great. Air is... Oh, he has negative air resist. Well, air is actually surprisingly good. Fire to the... Meh. No. And an AoE physical. Not that bad, but not that good. Right, this guy is shockingly good. Though he has horrific physical resist, so... That part sucks. But I can still use him. And then... I guess this? I don't know. Not great. <laughs> All right. Step one is this, I believe. I 
Why is he... Oh, it's just because he has so much life, right? I don't know. Either way, this is amazing. Let's do it. Get him into prison. here. And he has a lot of health. Uh, this will bounce either way. Looks like this is the way to go. Resistances are absurd right now. It's pretty good. But we did a lot of damage so far. <laughs> yeah, this is where our little firefly spell would be amazing. But... What can you do, I guess? Oh, we're going dead last. Unfortunate. Ride one. Interesting. More knives. Good. Got stacks of beads doing their work here. Oh, wow. Oh, so close to your fire, my man. Sorry. Pocket mirror, always good. Gruesome surprise, not that helpful. And then the big elemental guy. Problem right now is I'm doing skeletons in the first room because they're so much more defensive. But this guy's all AoE. I think I just go for the pocket mirror. It's a pretty good one. here. Just went from like zero to everything. Uh, let's take you out, take you out, take you out. Not sure about you yet. Depends on what we're facing. Bring these guys back. Um, yeah, I don't mind another course, I think. Okay. Be nice if it stopped being my level ones, but training up my skeletons is a pretty good idea, I think. Although, we might be at the end here. I never remember how many weeks this is. Um, let's go for a seminar. We have some blood and tears. Sure. Resistance bonus, morale bonus, or increased armor by 40. Wow, that's a lot. Let's try that. Our armor is kind of poor. Um... 
could merchant just for traps, like our traps. We have a low selection. The vents aren't that good. Let's look around. Plus, more skeletons is always good, right? Buy that. And yeah, I'll buy this as well. There we go. That's one way to spend some cash. Another ritual or an event. Um, I mean, do I have more stuff to spend at the ritual? I can't... I don't quite know how this works, but let's, let's try it again. See how it goes. Okay, we got new stuff. Cool. This is... Wait, is it only 20 to upgrade more? It's kind of insane. Um, okay, this one feels strong as well. What else do we have? Nature to everybody. Move them around. Okay. 20 in penalties. 30 in balance. And then this one. Okay, I really like upgrading this one because it can be really, really strong. I really like upgrading this one because it's just been good. And let's see, I could upgrade the front one. I haven't really used it much. Maybe I do try the sandstorm. Sometimes moving enemies around does something relevant. Sure. Let's learn sandstorm. Why not? Cool. Um, there's a lot of events and stuff in a row. Alright, let's go to the event. Good morals. A monster has been caught with an adult magazine. We turn a blind eye. Confiscated. I mean, I could give him the morale, but we're fine on morale, really, so let's just confiscate it here. Let's go to another event. Uh, what's the motivation for 50 bucks? That does actually help a little bit. Sure. Let's do it. I think I have a suggestions box. Alright, business trip over siege, I believe. Okay, I don't mind giving these guys. What is this thing? Oh, when a demon is defeated? Eh. I think we'll just go for this one. He's in recovery anyway. We'll make some gold. It seems fine. And then trainer or siege. We just picked up one new trap, so it's gonna be a pretty tough sell in the siege. Trainer, we can't really afford that much, is the issue. But I guess I'll take a look. Oh, it's literally just them. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sure, I guess. Why not? All right, what do we got? Monster, artifact. Ooh, I like another artifact. Let's go for that. And that means it's a, bit, a little bit easier, so I can give this guy time to recover. Bring you back, I guess. Okay. Still can't do skeletons in multiple rooms, so we'll do skeleton room versus non-skeleton room. I think I'm just happy with that. I'm not gonna worry too much about everything else. All right, let's go pick ourselves up an artifact. Hmm, excuse me. Okay, what do I got? Well, I got my spell. So, I probably want to give them spell, uh, lower their spell, whatever. Increase spell weakness. Are these guys immune to spells? Well, that's just rude. We're all back. Bonuses. Hmm, man. Okay, what do we got? Nature and air to the front and air to the back. Oof. Okay, this is my nature and air guy. He doesn't have a ton of health. This guy's actually okay at nature and air. And has more health, at least. And he does something for people behind him. And then the one in the back is taking air, so... Probably stick that guy in the back. I could stick this guy in the back instead. He does fire damage to the front or the back. Which is actually quite strong. And this guy does air damage and stuff. Yeah, let's actually use Oxar. 
And then the middle kind of doesn't matter. So let's see. You can do ice damage to the back. Actually quite good. Uh, you can do fire to the front. Also quite good. And you have some extra benefits. You're trash. You can do physical to the back now. I don't care about that. So between these two... This guy has a lot of health. Um, so 60 ice to the back and frostbite 3 versus 50 fire to the front. Um, but it also gives me shell and haste. Oh, this guy has effects in the back and front. That doesn't actually help me very much here. Yeah, let's go for the bull here. Alright, let's see what our disasters that we can do. I guess, I guess I don't have to worry about that right this second. Um... Okay, nature and air. Let's see here. Oh, you have terrible air resist, but you have excellent nature resist. Oh, you're just good at both. Okay. They okay, also have good air. Not really. Okay, well, you're going in the front. Um, air to the back is going to be maybe her. Maybe him. Nope. Maybe him? Sure. And then, let's see here. AoE, physical's pretty bad. Nature. Nature's okay, actually. Sure. Alright, and final trap. Um, let's just give them elemental weakness in case they do make it to the boss. I don't think they will, though. <laughs> This is just obscene. 300 damage. Holy moly. Alright. Um, I guess we're hitting the front here because he has pretty bad fire resist. Sure. Spear strike. Yeah, I still level this guy up, actually. Uh, yeah. Another fire column. Kind of wrecking this guy. I survived this hit. Yeah, very good. Alright. Finish him off. And then, let's see, front or back. I guess they're pretty similar. I might as well focus on the back here. too bad. Let's see here. Physical and frostbite. 40 and easy target or 30 and slowed. Guess I just go for the slow here. Physical damage is pretty bad. Easy target doesn't do anything. Yeah, sure. Oh, that lightning's... Terrible here. Um, for brambles? Yeah, I think I actually do. All right. Um, oh, your air resist is just real high. Well, let's make you vulnerable at least. And hit the guy in the back. Alright. 
So he's dead now to the burn. So now it's just all about the front. Oh, she's trying to do air damage. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, oh. Well, damn. Guess I'll go for the AoE. Good. Not that it really matters, because she's just never going to get through this. But. Too bad. Let's see what we got. Miraculous pill. Monsters placed in the back perform an extra attack. But lose a bunch of stuff. Cursed spirit. Mirth when demons defeated. Demoralized. Deals 200% physical damage instead of morale. I do actually like that. We're not doing morale shenanigans. We're not applying demoralize all that much, but... Not convinced by this pill. Though, we do have the mirror. So, there is something there, right? Because our guy... Um... Reflects the first attack. Perform an additional attack, but lose 20 speed and start the fight with 50% health missing. I don't think it's worth it still, but it's pretty close. Alright, what do we got here? Event. Another business trip seems fine. It doesn't send away anybody important. Let's see here. There's the crystal thing. Okay, elemental. It's not bad. I do like this guy, but he's only level one, so it's not that important. Might just do this, though. Uh, seems like a good time for a workout. Interesting. Um, let's go for the sauna. And sure. Do I even want this? Eh. Sure, why not? It's not good, but it does something. Yeah, right, we're at the end here. So, event. Uh, yeah, I'll take that, absolutely. And final event. Secret room, let's see. Monsters deal stuff. Yeah, sure, keep it all. And final champion, all right. So, I want all the skeletons I can get. Which is a lot of them, actually. So you can maybe come out. You're okay. You're level 3 now. Makes you kind of a bit more exciting. So, skeleton, skeleton, and I guess somebody else. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 skeletons right now. So I could split them four and four and try to make each room a skeleton room. I could split them five and three to have to make sure I have one good one and then just sort of hope I have a good one. I think four and four makes sense. Let's get all the non-skeletons out for just a second. Just take a look. Um, this guy has insanely good fire and ice resist. And actually good air resist as well. So he just needs nature and, and physical armor to back him up. Um, this guy has physical armor and nature, actually, so boom, the two of them together cover a lot of bases. Um, maybe we give them, like, the fire guy, although I might need him for the fire resistance for the rest of it. I mean, I guess I get, they get two different builds. See, this guy has good, uh, so my next best physical is one, two, three. So I want to keep at least one of them around here. Fire, let's see here. Yeah, we're covering on fire there. He's my big fire resist. So I kind of want to keep him around here. I can give them a sort of mediocre fire guy. Let's see. Ice. We don't have great ice coverage. 
armor, and then he's my nature and air, so he has to stay over here, he has to stay over here. Um, this guy does ice damage, it's kind of interesting. Let's give them the bull. Oh wait, the bull is the next best physical, so okay, let's keep the bull and give him the dog, I guess. And then just give them some other damage type, which would be... This guy's not good, but... He exists. Could do her, she's kind of interesting. Does that leave this a little bit too weak, maybe? Yeah, I think I send the weak guy here because there's already a pretty strong uh, group. Okay. So this will sort of be my baseline is to pick from these, but then maybe I choose... Um, I'm going to swap them so I have trap guy in the first one. But maybe I choose to, you know, address some, some sort of weaknesses out of these guys if I really have to. Um, so let's just put really, really... Like, let's put a really strong fire guy in here, a really strong air and nature guy in here, for example. Because that's the only way I would be utilizing those guys if it's just really, really powerful on a single axis here. Um, I mean, like, I guess. Throw her in, and then... Sure. Okay, let's try that. Here we go. Okay, trap and spell, pretty classic. Flame shield, ice damage, dodge, dodge. Dodge is the first trap. Well, that's annoying because I would like to hit them with the trap plus the spell. And I won't be able to. Watch the first trap. Huh. Nature of the front, pretty good. Yeah, he's... All right, he doesn't dodge spells. He dodges the trap. <laughs> I mean, it still makes sense to do this here, or sorry, this. I think it's just not going to be useful later. And then I can maybe try to do nature on the front guy. That seems fine. Alright, so what do we got? Ice and ice. Okay, there's a lot of ice. Ice front, ice back. Okay. Uh, so of my skeletons, do any of them have great ice resist? This guy has pretty good ice resist. Back transforms into a skeleton when he's defeated, or front AoE attacks. Um, so do air to the front, it's pretty poor, or ice to the back, it's pretty poor. Okay, I do want the ricocheting attack just then. Then he's my next best ice resist somehow. Unfortunate. Physical to the front's pretty bad. Um, let's see. Air to the front, not great. Nature AoE, it's actually okay, and it plays a bunch of poison. And we get the trap enhancement as well. I think it is actually going to be this guy. Alright. Try that, then we get the enhanced trap here. So we'll go for the poison cloud. Alright. And again, we're looking at a bunch of ice damage. Hey. We're not very good at that, turns out. We do ice at the back, which is horrific. Or you can do morale damage. But you do apply ice weakness here in the back. Makes this a little bit less terrible. It's still not good. Physical at the back is okay. Fire AoE is also okay. Uh, 
Air to the front isn't even good. Fire to the front or back is actually really good, so we're gonna want him around. And then, yeah, alright. I think it has to be this, as unfortunate as it is. Maybe I use the bull anyway. Let's haste the back. Do something like this. I actually think that might be better, even though he'll die pretty quick. Oh, actually, they have the same idea. Yeah, okay, this is way better then. Yep, let's try this. We regain some health, we get a spell, and we get a champion. Alright. I'm waiting for you. This, 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 or that. Yeah, I think I just like the vengeance here. The bounty doesn't do anything, but it's a bunch of damage. It's cool. The dodges are stupid. Um, I guess we just get rid of the dodges here. And then... Yeah, we're good. Alright, um... My review is amazing. This at least applies a bleed. Lightly deals extra damage to the back. Sure. And the toxins. Oof, those are big hits. Very nice. Just dodges, though, are obnoxious. And our dodges got wasted as well. So, isn't this guy hasted? Why is he going like dead last? Oh, this is garbage. Let's do this. Fireball, fire column. Fireball here. Very nice. They dead. 39, not quite. Right. Um, would this kill the back, I wonder? Eh. I want to get this fire buff. Kill him for the healing fountain. Cool. Though the resources of the forest may draw the richest of humans, we have to put a stop to their expansion. Leave the skeletons in charge of defending the temple. We need to go back to hunting down these far too intrepid adventurers. The well, skeleton certainly did a good job uh, defending the temple for us, so. My quest is over. 
pretty cool. I feel the sap burning in me. Nice, two more levels. It is inevitable. And we're off to a new area. Looks like more elementals again. Ten morale applies to thorns too. That's kind of fun. Skeleton Drake. Oof, that sounds exciting. All right, well, uh, that'll wrap up another episode. We managed to defend the temple with our uh, mighty skeletons there. Uh, so that was, that was a lot of fun for me. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.